year ago. Yeah. So if the whole stream, you probably watching like Nick, you fucking anti-Semitic piece of shit. Are you saying that this is a Zionist scheme? Are you saying that Jews secretly control the world? No, I'm just using basic common sense. Zionists, not Jews. Zionists do control the West, though. <laughs> I don't know how anyone can deny that. Very funny how they turned out to an consp uh, anti-Semitic conspiracy theory. Very smart of them, too. Are you saying Jews run the world? No, we're saying Zionists run the world, motherfucker. Don't put shit in my... In my don't put words in my, in my mouth. Remember, 70% of Jewish Democrats support a ceasefire. Are they getting it? Nope. So Jews don't run the world. Zionists run the world. Do you guys understand? And now they didn't have control of one fucking thing. They didn't have control of one fucking thing. TikTok. So they concocted this plan so they can so they can have Zionists control of TikTok in the app. Steve Mnuchin, one of the most unhinged Zionists that you can possibly find, he's now putting his band together, his band of capitalist Zionists. They're putting together an investor group to buy TikTok. Do you guys really trust these motherfuckers? Do you guys trust this genocidal asshole to moderate content on TikTok? If the answer to that question is yes, which is 81% of Congress, which is Sean Handy, Josh Hawley, and all their supporters, everyone to support the ban TikTok, you are a bootlicker of the highest order. If you're a working class person, you are a class trader of the highest order. So, Zoe, I know you want to chime in on this. I'm sorry I cut you off earlier. Maybe I should have led with this because I know you were chopping at the bit to get to this. When you hear it, when you see this, this wrap the bow on on my my point that this is a clearly a tactic by Zionists to control the narrative during and post genocide. Zoe, anything you want to add before we briefly cover the Macron story? Well the reason I inserted that earlier is obviously I never watched Fox, but what they were saying was to me manufacturing consent for this to happen. They're they're saying it like it's a hypothetical, like you you know what would be good is if some American would, would take over. They already know. This is already in the works. This is already the plan. And they're just putting the idea in our head that it's okay for, for uh, you know, and this is a foreign affiliated entity, uh, APAC, and, and all these other uh, Zionist organizations that have an alliance to a foreign country, not America. They have obviously uh, um an influence that 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 cannot be contained that uh gets quickly turned into policy if if uh you look at documentaries on apac they'll show you how apac shows up to these politicians running for office makes them uh, agree to basically bend the knee to this particular policy and, and uh if they don't agree to do that, they will fund their opponents. And this has been continuing cycle after cycle. So now they have all of these politicians in public uh, in, in power, uh, Republican and Democrat, that uh, all favor Israel. And even Mao said, <laughs> this, is, this is prescient because it's decades ago, that Israel is just a Western base in the Middle East. The, the reason uh, Israel is so important to America is because it's how they maintain that uh, their control in the region. It's like this unholy alliance between them. A and we can see in policy and in action that they're completely hypocritical on the sovereignty of Ukraine <laughs> and vilifying Russia, uh, while at the same time not recognizing the sovereignty of Palestine. Uh, so what is this rules-based order that uh, came from the uh, immaculate Garden of Europe and, and the West, uh, where they lay out policies that only others uh, are bound to follow and, and they can absolutely violate with impunity. And, and it's unfortunate. We, we know that money controls politics and we know that these organizations realize that and organize in a way that I wish that we would. Why aren't we walking into politicians' office, uh, offices and demanding that they bend the knee to the will of the people? We, we don't have to use money. 
we have force, we have numbers, we uh, pay taxes, we can shut the, system, the whole system down. Why aren't we leveraging our own power and doing exactly what APAC does only for the people? So uh, I, I watch how all of these entities move uh, with envy because I really want this for us. I really want us to be able to leverage power against these politicians in the way that they do for our interests. And until we're able to leverage our power, power concedes nothing without a demand. We're, we're never gonna get anything out of them. All I've seen in my lifetime is all of our rights getting eroded and um, the country of freedom and democracy having the largest prison population on earth well, we only have 5% of the world's population and it's only getting worse. And, and, and I'm sorry, this is why every stream I go so hard at you guys because it's one thing to inform you, but I need all of us to uh, turn to action. We, uh, unless we organize and do something about this, they out-organized us. These people out-organized us and that's why they control.